guys welcome to my channel this is Anna we are going to make a yakisoba noodles today so what we have here is our ingredients we have onion we have the garlic parsley I replaced the green onion for parsley I, I just love parsley you know I can't get enough without any parsley so but anyway and then to add a little bit more texture I have a tofu and it's already uh, pre-cooked and the next ingredients that we have here also is our asparagus okay and what I have here is the red cabbage and also I have a piece of carrots and one pound of a ground chicken right here and also for uh, to use for uh, sauteing our uh, vegetables I have olive oil I have oyster sauce soy sauce and I have Worcestershire sauce pepper salt to taste and our noodles right here so and also I have also a mixture of yakisoba sauce that I have here so this is a combination of sugar oyster sauce soy sauce Worcestershire and a little bit of pepper and so this is gonna be our sauce for our yakisoba so I hope guys that you continue watching my channel and we will start cooking now there you go guys so we have a tablespoon and a half olive oil on our pan so we're going to put in our onion okay we will just saute them to caramelize okay, there you go guys so after the onion we're going to put in the garlic So we will just saute them for a minute. This is just a beautiful color. Okay. Okay, after the garlic and the onion, I'm gonna put in the ground chicken. Just like that. So what we're going to do is we will just brown the chicken. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, we'll just mix it up. And you know, guys, you can also use any kind of meat you prepare. I figured, you know, um, chicken would be better for you. Okay, we'll just brown them. Okay, while we are browning the chicken, I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, just like that. Okay, we'll just mix it up. Oh, this is already smells so good. There you go guys, so after 3 to 4 minutes, our chicken is now brown, so I'm going to put in a uh, mushrooms. I'm going to put probably like 1 cup of mushrooms, just like that. Just lower down the temperature. Okay, so we will just cook down the mushrooms for like a couple of minutes. 
see how beautiful that is. There you go guys, after a couple of minutes I already sauteed the uh, mushrooms with the chicken so I'm gonna put it next to sour tofu so that's our tofu right there oh this is just beautiful it smells so good So we will just saute them for another minute. There you go, guys. After a couple of minutes, I'm gonna add my peas and carrots, just like that. Okay. So we will just mix it up. Okay, and then the next ingredients that we're going to put in is our I got plenty of purple or red cabbage right there, okay? So I just want to add all of them. See how beautiful that is, guys. Okay, just mix it up. See the color right there? That's just perfect. Then after we mix it up, we can just simmer them for like a couple of minutes. There you go guys, so the next ingredients that we're going to put in is our asparagus. Okay, see how beautiful that is guys, Ooh, delicious. And of course, half of our parsley, just like that. All we have to do is just mix it up and you have to be gentle a little bit because of our asparagus we doesn't want them to be slimy or get overcooked that's all we'll have to do just like that see how beautiful that is combination of asparagus red cabbage amazing okay so we'll just simmer them for a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do is put them in a high heat. So it would caramelize the vegetables. And so is the meat. Just like that. See how beautiful that is, guys. Okay. So we'll just simmer them for a couple of minutes. There you go guys so what I'm going to put in is our noodles there you go guys so I'm gonna put in our noodles just like that see how beautiful that is okay and then all we have to do is just mix it up okay just like that Oh, this is just delicious guys okay and then while we are doing that I'm gonna put in the mixture of our homemade yakisoba sauce okay so what I'm gonna do is just pour the sauce in just like that oh how beautiful that is guys okay we'll just mix it up just like that oh it's just amazing beautiful see the beautiful noodles right there there you go I'll just mix it up and if you notice guys you know the color combinations right there the green the red cabbage right there the noodles this is just beautiful and pretty much this is ready so we're going to do the plating and you see right there guys this is a beautiful combination with the vegetables you know I love them okay so we're ready for plating 
There you go, guys. So this is our yakisoba noodles that we made. And uh, I have the asparagus, the red cabbage right there. I have the tofu and the mushrooms. And this is just an easy, delicious dish, guys. So I hope that you like my video, guys. And once again, thank you for watching my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe. Anna M. And guys, I still have a lot of videos coming up. And I hope that you enjoy watching my videos and you always, um, you know, be updated. And please don't forget to subscribe. And once again, thank you for watching. This is Anna. I'm going to see you later, guys. Bye.